Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to improve battery life on the iPhone XR in 2025. Alright, so let's begin. So there are a few methods how we can improve the battery life of our iPhone and I'm gonna show you all of them. So let's begin. We can begin with opening up our settings and in here find your battery right in here to improve its maximum capacity of course we can enable the low power mode which is right in here you can also read below how this option works low power mode temporarily reduces background activity like downloads and mail fetch until you can fully charge your iPhone so I suggest you can enable that option from time to time also we can click on battery health and charging in here we have the maximum capacity of our battery so this is a measure of battery capacity relative to when it was new lower capacity may result in fewer hours of usage between the charges so as you can see in my case the maximum capacity is on the level of 86 percent because this iphone isn't that new also if you want to improve that capacity you can't do anything on your own you need to basically change your battery in the authorized center it's the, it's the best option basically so when it's on the level around 80 above 80 percent i suggest you shouldn't do anything because it's still a good level but when it drops below 80 maybe even above below 70s 70 percent then you should suggest and consider changing it because you know during the day when you have low capacity your percentage of your battery might really drop pretty fast and you know you might have to load and charge your battery like two times a day and that's not the best option also below we have the peak performance cap capability your battery is currently supporting normal peak performance so that's okay and below we have the optimized battery charging so to reduce battery aging iphone learns from your daily charging routine so it can wait to finish charging past 80 percent until you need to use it i suggest you should also enable that option because you know for example when you are charging your phone on the late hours when you're sleeping the phone will know on which hours you usually charge your phone and it's gonna finish the charging past 80 percent because you know overcharging your battery it's not the best thing it's not good for its capacity and its health and condition so i suggest you should also turn that option also when it's cold days or really hot days you should avoid using your phone in the full sun because you're also overheating your battery and placing your phone into the full sun when it's like 30 degrees outside it's not the best for your battery so if you have an option avoid that okay now to also to improve the battery life we can simply adjust the brightness of our screen to do it we need to click on display and brightness and in here we can enable or disable the automatic one and also change the brightness i suggest you shouldn't use the maximum one because it really consume the battery i think you should use the lower ones to avoid a quick consumption of your battery also you can enable the dark mode also it also should consume less battery than the light one okay now what can we do next okay from here we can also go into the 
privacy and the security. And now the location services. And in here you can disable some of the apps that you don't want to use your location because it also consumes some of your battery percentage. So have that in mind. For example, you don't want TikTok. You can set it or never to prevent from you know cons consumption of your battery. Also remember about it that you should simply exit the apps that you are not using. I mean the recent apps. So perform that move and in here you get access to the recent apps. In my case I don't have many of them, I only have the browser and settings. But remember to simply get rid of those apps that you're not currently using. But they are still opened in the recent apps and they still consume the battery, so have that in mind. All right. Also, when you don't have that need, simply, for example, disable features such as Wi-Fi, AirDrop or the Bluetooth. If you are not connected to them, simply disable them because they also might consume your battery. Okay, also you should from time to time check if there is a possibility to update your software. So simply open up the settings, then find the general. Now scroll down a little bit and now click on the software update. Currently, as you can see, my system is up to date, so I don't need to, you know, download the latest version, but if you have that possibility, simply do it. Okay, we can also now go into the settings. Scroll down and also, <laughs> sorry, my bad, you should Make sure that your Apple mode is disabled when you are not currently using it. Because it also might consume more of your battery. Alright, basically that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.